in the Bible, there are two terms that are used. One is discipline is a disciple, and the other is the word apostle. Mm. The word, uh, uh, there's a big difference between a disciple and an apostle. A disciple is one who picks a teacher to be his master, and so he follows that particular person and what that man or woman is saying and guides their life by what, by what they're hearing from their teacher so that they are listening to the disciple. The disciple is listening to a teacher. And so if you're a disciple, you've picked one person to be your teacher. But the word apostle in the Bible comes from a Greek word meaning one who is called out. Mm -hmm. One who is called out. As if you were, say, in the military. And you're standing on the a rapt attention on the field with a hundred other soldiers. And you're waiting for the general to come. And all of a sudden comes up the limo with the five-star general. And he stands, he gets out, and everyone's standing in attention. And he walks around looking at the troops, and he picks you. He points at you and said, you, yeah, come here. And so he picks you out of the group and tells you, go over there and sit in the car. So therefore, you have been picked by the general. Therefore, the word apostle means one who was picked, one who was called out of the world. But a, but a disciple is one who picks the teacher. An apostle is the one who's picked by the teacher. The teacher picks the disciple. And so this is what is important for you to understand that we are all, almost all people in religion are disciples. They're disciples of different religions. They're disciples of Billy Graham. They're disciples of this group or that group or this teacher or that teacher. But they're not following the great spirit. They're not following the great spirit. So what you need to understand, I have said this before on other broadcasts, I'll say it again, in order to understand apostle, mm. it's as if you were a young man who was in the military, you join the military or you're in the military, and the first day you are on the bus, you're going to a military base for the first day and the first time. And when you get off the bus on the military base, you tell the, uh, the, uh, the officer in charge, you tell him, look, at, since I'm going to be in the military, I need to go to Washington, D.C. I need to work in, with the Pentagon. And so he will then tell you, fine, and he will then have some other military guys come over and walk you off uh, and, and take you out behind the building and, and knock your teeth out and give you a couple of bloody uh, black eyes. Why? Because you don't tell power where you're going. Power tells you. So that's the name of the tune in Christianity and in religion. You don't tell God anything. You don't tell anybody nothing. God calls you. So if you are a dis if you are a disciple, you have decided to pick somebody to listen to. And so you are disciplining yourself according to what you're hearing from that teacher. Right. That's why they call you a disciple. You're disciplining yourself to follow the teachings that you pick, the person you pick. But if you have in your spirit as an individual, you as an individual, are spiritually very concerned about religion, about the history of religion, about the history of the world we live in, and where you came from, and your children, where they're going, and what's going to happen to the human family. If you're really concerned, then what you're doing is you're showing the spirit that you are very concerned, and that you need to realize that your undying concern that you have for all these spiritual questions is being put into you by God. You are not picking God, God is picking you, right. because most people couldn't care less. They don't know nothing, they don't understand nothing, and they're not interested in nothing. They got their baseball games, their football games, they don't need God, they don't need to ask anything. 
And if they are interested, they'll pick who they're interested in. They'll be disciples. But if you're an apostle, it means God has picked you. You don't pick the teacher. The teacher picks you. So therefore, if you have this really strong feeling of wanting to know, and very few people do, but if you were one of them that has this very strong, continual you know, feeling in your mind that you want to know what the real truth is and what's going to happen to you and what's going to happen to our country and to your family, then you are being called by God, mm-hmm. so to speak. The Spirit is calling you. You have been picked. Therefore, you are coming out of the of the lunacy that we call the human race. You have been picked. Somebody higher than you has picked you. You didn't decide that you want to know. The the God himself has picked you and, tell, and put it into you so that you want to know. So don't think it's because you want to know you decided anything. No, the way spirituality actually works, that's why I'm saying that the whole human race cannot be saved. You're not going to be saved. You're only going to be saved from this world of darkness if somebody higher than you wants you to come out. They Mm -hmm. want you to listen. They want you to know the real truth. Then you are now continually worried about these things in your mind is because God is calling you. Most people are not called. Interesting side note to what you're saying too, Jordan, is that, uh, you know, quite, quite honestly and frankly, the, the, the military is a religious order and religious order is military. And That's right. people don't necessarily understand that, but, but, but let me just throw one thing into the equation here, which everybody knows, but everybody seems to forget when it comes to this. You swear an oath when you are inducted into the military. Even if you're drafted, you swear an oath. That's right. Um, If you do not swear the oath, if you go through every other part of the process but do not swear the oath... You're not in. You're not in. Now, (laughs) this is rather curious, isn't it? So let, let, let's remember that both things are correct. And as far as disciples go, I, I, I find it uh, uh, interesting also that uh, some of the people that are, are viewed as some of the darkest individuals who are speaking evil thoughts on the planet sometimes tell us the greatest truths. Uh, you know, <laughs> you, you, you have to look at the way the word disciple has been utilized. Uh, j- just like taking a look at that, the name of that fort that the Wailing Wall actually is. Take a look at the name Anthony, uh, yep. Antonio, and, and Antonin. In fact, all of these sorts of things that are rooted in that word. And no, I'm not going to give you the information. I want you to go look at it for yourself and <clears throat> find out what that actually means. And then maybe you get a greater context as to why people are going to the Wailing Wall. Yep. Uh, anyway, That's exactly right. you know, these things are all correct, and it's interesting because military is one of those things that's discussed often. Um, and, and for those that, that say, okay, maybe I'm backtracking on what I've said before uh, regarding this, look, I, I, I do not doubt the honest and good intent of a lot of people that choose to serve in the military. I don't at all. I, I've, I've said that many times. I feel, in fact, that it's a great betrayal that they are conned into doing what it is they do. Uh, but I also feel the very same way about most of these organized religions. There's a lot of people with very good intentions that wish to, you know, be church active, that go out and do things like literally do good deeds. They, they feed poor people. They give clothes to people who need them. They do things in their communities. They do that uh, because their intents are good. They do not know what they are really serving just like the military people, because it's based on the same concept. <laughs> anyway, Precisely. So so the, the, this, I, I don't sound crazy to you at all, do I, Jordan? If you remember what Jesus said when he looked at the people, supposedly, in the scripture, he says, Forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. Mm. And this is exactly correct. Forgive the people today in the churches because they know not what they do. The Mm -hmm. Bible says, uh, has God saying my people are dying from a lack of knowledge. 
My people are dying. He doesn't say the Buddhists are dying from a lack of knowledge. The Hindus, no. My people are dying from a lack of knowledge, wisdom, understanding, reading a book. Think for yourself. My Lord, when you find out what is really going on on this earth that you didn't know anything about, you're going to be shocked out of your system. You're going to be shocked out of your mind when you find out what's really happening to America right now and where it's going and where we as a human family on the earth, where we're heading. It's all been well planned a long time ago by a very powerful secret societies who founded this country and who are now taking over our, our government. They've taken over our systems, our institutions, our education, uh, banking, all of our institutions that we use to guide our society are now in the hands of people who want to destroy this country. Mm. They want to destroy you as an American, in America, period. Why? Because you've made a lot of enemies all over the world. Why? Because you are free and you have become wealthy and you have become powerful and why? Because you've had the freedom and liberty and justice to do just that. But the people of the world see you becoming very powerful and very wealthy, and they don't like it. And the and the uh, and the uh, elites, what we call the elites, do not want you to be free at all. The Rockefellers, the Rothschilds, and all the other international banking elites all working for one thing, to promote your destruction. Yeah. We are not, we don't have national leaders. We have misleaders. People who are planning your demise as they are taking your votes and smiling and waving at you, and at night while you're asleep, they are having their secret meetings about what they're going to do to rape you and steal from you and kill you and murder your children, and they're going to start wars and promoting violence all over the world and the same South American and Central American countries, which we refer to as Catholic, which are dominated by the Vatican, are also the drug runners, the people who are raising all the drugs to be sold into America to drug America. You want to drug your victims before you rape them. So we're drug being drugged by the uh, countries in South and Central America and Mexico, which we know are dominated by the Catholic Church. Mm. 